Hey y'all, you might be able to hear my husband in the background. He is sharpening pencils for his artwork. We're gonna be doing a mask. It's a sweet tea and lemon peel away clay mask. Pulls poor clogging grime. I need that. It's by Freeman. Oh, by the way, I'm Sam, Kermit Von Frog. Kermit Von Frog 12. I'm gonna tear this open. Sweet tea, huh? Who doesn't love sweet tea in the summer? Hmm. Just trying to open it. It's a peel off mask, so I'm just gonna smear whatever it got on my finger on my face. I have a mirror right here. I'm gonna take a little brush and start applying said mask. Wow, it feels really gooey, really gummy. And it's peach toned. It's like almost like putting latex appliances on your face. So I'm just gonna keep smearing. My husband and I just watched episode six of the first season of True Detective. Have you ever seen that one? With Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson. Okay, I'm getting a good, a good scent now. And it doesn't smell like sweet tea and lemon. It smells kind of chemically. Almost like a latex appliance for special effects. Trying it out. It's got a peach tone to it, if you can see it. Get some off the brush. All right, it's really thick. It's not very thin at all. And it does have a chemical -y smell. This is supposed to pour, pull out poor clogging grime. Most of my poor clogging grime is sebum. Because I've got that kind of skin. I have very dry skin. And whatever my skin produces can clog it. Gosh, that's really thick. Let me get some more up here. I find though with a peel off mask, if you make it thicker, it peels off better after it dries. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Let's get a nice quick layer as I'm looking at myself in the mirror. As you can see, it's like it, it almost dries almost instantaneously. Liquid band aid. I don't really want to put it on my mouth because. I don't know. I'll try it. So gooey. Wow, this is thick. Sweet tea and lemon peel away clay mask. It's going to probably take forever to dry because it puts a thick layer on. I feel like I'm using, I need a chisel or a, what do you call it, a spatula? To spread this on. It's so thick. Just trying to get it so that it I can actually peel it off. You know what I mean? Okay. You might. Alright. My brush is destroyed. It's always good in the rest of my nose. Because it's so thick, I don't feel like I was able to really push it into my pores. But we'll see what happens. Did you see me? Ah! Ah! Okay, I'll be back when this dries. I'm back. It's about a half an hour. You can see. It started peeling off right around there. So it's peeling off. I don't know if my cheeks are completely dry, but we're going to try. I love that ripping sound. Mm. Oh, that hurt. I have a lot of uh, peach fuzz. Oh, that hurts a little bit. Oh. 
got a piece stuck on my chin and on my cheek. Well, this is grabbing on pretty good. I'm looking in the mirror as I try to take it off. Can you hear that? Eyebrows. Eyebrows. I can't get out. <laughs> you see that little piece stuck in my hair? I should have paid more attention. Ow. Oh, okay. That's weird. I st oh, I rolled right off. Okay. I still feel like it was like a latex product. Ooh, that's still wet. That's probably why it didn't come off. Stuff in my eyebrow. Take a wet paper towel and just try to get the rest off my face. Oh, that was my jaw. Piece around my eye. <laughs> it's in my eyebrow. Come on, get off. Come on, get off my face. For a peel-off mask, that was pretty fun. Um, I think I might have put on too much <laughs> uh, because it took so long to dry, but the result was a nice peel, and I felt it. It's in my hair. I'm going to take my mirror here and look at myself. I'm not dry. I'm not uh, tight. But I feel exfoliated. That's a good thing. And uh, I'm taking little pieces off here and there. Um, overall, well, you know, <laughs> it looks like elastic now. Look at that. It feels like actual latex, like the stuff you use for special effects. Which, you know, when you peel it off your skin, it kind of hurts. And it doesn't have any good scent. I mean, it doesn't smell like lemon or tea or anything. It really feels, <laughs> it seriously feels like latex. All right, let me look. <laughs> I'd have to read more, but I swear there's latex in it. But I, I, I didn't get red because I'm kind of allergic to latex, but it has that texture. So maybe if you're looking for like an alternate latex adhesive thing for like appliances and makeup special effects, this would work great if somebody has a latex allergy. I don't know. But it felt good peeling off. It felt cooling, drying. I didn't get a tingle. My skin does feel soft, except for where I keep finding little pieces of hair stuck to my latex hair thing here. <laughs> hmm, I liked it. I would probably do this one again, but with better boundaries <laughs> where it's in my hair. <laughs> There's a piece there in my hair right there. You can see it's stuck. Oh gosh. Okay, shower time. Anywho, um, for a peel off mask, that peeled off. And it's very elastic. Me, 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 me. So, um, I was kind of upset that I didn't get that scent though of like lemon and sweet tea. I really wanted that scent. Pulls pore clogging grime. When I looked at the sheet mask or the mask when I peeled it off, I didn't see anything, but I don't know how much grime got pulled out, if it did at all, but it felt good. I liked it. I did. I would buy that one again and use it with uh, better boundaries. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, definitely try it out. If you have a lot of peach fuzz like me, you'll feel it pull and you'll feel that um, the hair pull and it might hurt a little bit. So be aware of that. Um, but if you're like addicted to masks and peel off masks, this is a good one to try because it's strong. I think I, that's why I liked it because it was strong. Most masks are like, me, 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 peel off, uh, cucumber, uh, whatever. 
This one was strong. It was good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. So, uh, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> it ain't easy being green, but it sure is fun.